Razaban for fighthype.com. Uh, we bumped into randomly yeah, today. Man. BJ Flora, welcome to the UK. Well, welcome back to the UK. Right. Uh, how are we doing? I'm doing good. Looking forward to this fight. Going to be an exciting fight. Both guys like to talk. Both guys have big punching power. So, uh, you know, I, I, I've been at all of David's fights for the last, you know, seven, eight years. So, uh, you know, uh, it, it's following tradition. He comes to my fights, I go to his fights. And this is a, this is a great matchup considering that I just fought Tony Bellew in the last fight. So some kind of weird, strangely twisted web of, yeah. uh, of uh, relationships. So here we are. You, you, you were vocal previously when you came to the UK about how close your relationship is with David Hay. Uh -huh. How did you get close with David? How did it all start? Well, he was uh, the national uh, champion for Great Britain at 178 in 99 and then in 2000 he went up to heavyweight and I was the national champion for the USA in 2001, 2002, 2003 at heavyweight so we'd always kind of seen each other's names and then we finally met in Miami um, in 2007 started doing some training together just hit it off really well got along really well and just you know I always thought he's a hard worker and a great fighter so kind of looked up to him as far as you know what he was able to do in the cruiserweight division because that's what I wanted to do so um, got some good pointers and training tips off of him and just uh, you know we've been friends ever since know his family and uh, we, we've gotten close over the last 10 years He's obviously in, in a fight against a former opponent of yours in Tony Bellew. David was very confident that you were going to knock him out in the right. fight. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. Right. Um, being in the ring with Tony and knowing David for as, uh, as many years as you have, right. um, what, does Tony possess a real challenge to David at heavyweight? Um, I think if, if the fight was a cruiserweight, it could be a very competitive fight. And I think at heavyweight, it's just, uh, you know, it's one of those situations where um, you got to go through the high school ball, the minor leagues, before you get to the major leagues. And I think Tony has been at the major leagues and the cruiserweight division, but the heavyweight division is very different. So um, just to try to gain weight, to gain 25 pounds and say you're a heavyweight, doesn't necessarily mean you're a heavyweight. And I think uh, the experience David's had at heavyweight over the last eight years is going to be the difference. So it's just he's fought a lot of guys. And, and, and it's not even in the ring, not even the Ruizes and the Harrisons and the, and the Klitschkos and, the, and, and those kind of guys. I'm talking about just in sparring with Wilder and multiple guys, European guys and, and German guys. I, I've seen him in there were so many different heavyweights and it'd be impossible for Tony to have that same type of experience mm -hmm. in the last three months that David's had over the last eight years and I think that'll be the difference. Do you think David Hayes is the hardest hitting heavyweight on the planet? Um, I don't know if he's the hardest. He's definitely right there if he's not the hardest. But would you uh, say he's there then? With he, yeah, of course he's there. There's no question about that. He's explosive, he's strong, he's powerful. But uh, I, I can't say he's the hardest because I haven't been in with all the other guys. So I can't really say as an athlete, I respect everybody. But I, until I know for a fact, it'd be tough to say that. But he's he's anything he hits, is, is if he hits you clean, it's, it's going to be a wrap. So, um, you know, Tony's got to be intelligent early. He's got to be smart. He's got to go out there. He's got to use his skills and his abilities. Um, be calculated with what he does because if he goes out there, guns are blazing, then it's, it's not going to last very long. What's your final prediction for the fight? A knockout. Yeah, uh, for sure, a knockout. Uh, for, <laughs> hey, um, you know, Tony has got the ability. He could definitely, uh, you know, take the fight deeper, you know, into the into the fight, you know, fourth, fifth, sixth round, but I just don't see how he gets out of it without uh, with uh, being conscious, honestly. It's going to be a tough night for him because he's gotten David Hay really motivated. He's really gotten under his skin mm -hmm. and uh, he's really taking it serious regardless of what all the videos of, in Miami and all that, like, if you believe that, you're naive. So um, this guy's been working very hard for the last five months and uh, I think it's all going to show on Saturday, but it's a great fight either way, so I'm looking forward to seeing it. What's well, so the latest with yourself? I know you fought on Saturday, yeah. uh, but back up in heavyweight division yeah. now? I fought in the heavyweight division. Um, I'm done with cruiserweight completely uh, I weighed 222 for the fight so I feel good and uh, just gonna keep working my way up um, you know had just suffered a tough loss to a world championship fight so there's really no uh, no shame in that and uh, got right back with a nice win first round knockout and I'm looking to come back again in uh, April or May immediately get another good win and get myself back in the mix yeah what's the, what's the target what's the end goal heavyweight title uh, I don't know about title I don't know about Klitschko and, and Joshua but there's a lot of guys you know Lucas Brown uh, Antonio Tarver uh, maybe Alexander Povetkin, somebody like that. If we get these guys to, to pass a test, that would be fantastic. Dominic but Brazil, Washington. Dominic Ruben. Brazil, not not. I'm not really looking to some of those big, huge guys like that. I'm looking guys more my size in the heavyweight division. There's a lot of great fights. They have huge names. Um, I'm working on you know getting my name bigger and winning a couple fights to make it marketable at heavyweight. And uh, you know I want to fight guys you know my size or close to my size. I'll let those guys kind of do their thing.